So, uh, what about assuming you've learned from every project you work on? What was uh, one of the biggest takeaways on this film that you learned from your experience? Um, I, you know, I, I think it was just. Uh, I don't know if it was one singular thing. It just in terms of uh, the tone of the movie, the the kind of combination of, of getting to flex both comedic and dramatic muscles, uh, uh, being in an incredible location like the Austrian Alps, uh, and uh, and getting to play these real characters uh, in a remake of a movie that I really love at the time in my life when it happened all of that together was my big takeaway that, that this is just like I felt so uh, kind of fulfilled and happy to be able to do what I get to do and you could do pretty much any movie you want at this point so not really what about uh, what about force majeure what about the essence of that did you want to transmute into this project or maybe do differently well I, I mean I think uh, I think starting with what we didn't want to do differently, we wanted to kind of honor, you know, uh, the original essential premise of the movie, uh, which is, you know, that that thing of, of going about your day-to-day -day lives and something happening and thinking you thinking you know how to operate a certain way and, and thinking you know, you know, your your family unit in a certain way, only to find out that it's all stripped away and you, you don't know each other at all. Uh, I think we wanted to maintain that. At the same time, it was fun to create a different version of the movie in the sense that we were being kind of the fish out of water element of Americans uh, having a European experience, um, kind of brightening up the comedy a little, a little more. You know, the, the Swedish version is a little austere. Uh, um, and, but just, you know, it was just fun to be a part of uh, just a really a quality project from top to bottom. Derek from MyOnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.